I think in America we um, minimize the degree of the illness uh, that is caused by various types of chemical exposure. Uh, the idea, idea that children are coming down with one ailment after another because they're breathing uh, chemicals in the air clearly is not acceptable to me. Uh, and if elected president, this is an issue we will put a lot of resources uh, into uh, and in a situation we will try uh, to end. Uh, and certainly it's not just California. Uh, in urban areas all over this country, we have outrageously high rates of uh, childhood asthma. Uh, and uh, this is something uh, that when we talk about health care, we have to understand that these type of pollutants uh, cannot uh, be allowed to continue uh, to poison the, the children of our, of our country. Uh, second of all, uh, it is my view uh, that uh, not only because of the pollutants, uh, not only because of the release of methane, uh, but because of the concern that many of us have about the future of clean water in the United States of America, uh, we have got to end fracking. Uh, it is just not worth uh, the risk uh, to poison uh, our aquifers. Uh, at a time when we are seeing uh, the kind of damage we are uh, from climate change and drought. We have to be very, very conservative in making sure that we protect our water supply uh, and fracking moves us in exactly uh, the wrong direction. So I applaud the families uh, who have come out, the individuals who have spoken out against uh, this very serious problem here and we look forward uh, to working with them. Uh, any questions on uh, environmental issues? Senator, you heard from the families uh, from Porter Ranch who are affected by the natural right. gas leak. What can be done on a federal level to help these people? Well, a lot can be done. Uh, we have to hold uh, the companies accountable. Uh, and most importantly, what we have got to do is transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. There is huge potential, and we're seeing it here in California. We're seeing uh, the growing utilization of wind turbines and of solar. Uh, if elected president, we will greatly acceler accelerate that transformation. We have the technology now, we have the knowledge, uh, and research and development will only make uh, sustainable energies uh, even more cost effective. But right now we can do a lot more with solar, we can do a lot more uh, with wind, with geothermal, and with other technologies, and we can create in this process just a whole heck of a lot of good paying jobs as we move away from fossil fuel uh, to energy efficiency and sustainable energy.